Welcome to Statistics in Excel video 35.2. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, Arithmet Arithmetic Mean versus Geometric Mean. If you're in our class, just go to our Chapter 3 website. This is an extra workbook. It's uh, the, the rest of the videos for this chapter are all condensed into one. Now, I want to talk about the difference between Arithmet arithmetic mean and geometric mean in finance. The ar arithmetic mean answers the question over a particular number of periods what was the return in an average year or what was the return for a typical year. Uh, here's the calculation sum up the values and, and divide by the count. Now the question is in finance when to use the arithmetic mean. Well, first, arithmetic mean is always bigger than geo mean. And second, all we have are estimates, right? So we have to pick our estimates. When do you use the arithmetic mean? Use it when you want optimistic results. Oh, yeah, <laughs> because the arithmetic mean is always bigger. Or the time frame is short, because geo mean would probably be too small. Now, what about geo mean? Geo mean answers the question, over a particular number of periods, what was the average compounded return per year? In our last video, we saw a calculation uh, using geo mean and how it got us exactly the correct ending value after a number of periods. So geometric mean tells us what you actually earn per year on an average compounded annually. Here's our formula that we saw in our uh, last video. The question is when to use the geometric mean. Again, the same two facts. Arithmetic mean is always bigger than the geo mean. And all we have are estimates. So when do you use the geo mean? Use when you want pessimistic results. Oh, yeah, because it's always going to be smaller. Or the time frame is long, because arithmetic mean uh, will be too big. Now, here's our example. 2001, there's a stock value of 2575. Over the next several years, here are the returns. 0 0.01, 0 0.12, 0 0.03, and minus 9% or minus 0 0.09. First, let's just figure out the actual uh, stock values at the end. Because here's the starting value. Well, for this first one, oh, I'm sorry, we'll do that stock value here. First, because we're going to do arithmetic mean and geo mean, we need to, for our geo mean formula, add 1 to each. Um, uh, rate of change equals 1 plus, and notice I did it the opposite of this. Does it matter if you did return plus 1 or 1 plus return? No, no. You can add in any order. Uh, and that has to be in parentheses. And then we multiply that times our value right there. Now I'm going to lock this. We're not going to copy this formula down, but I'm going to actually copy this little piece because we'll use that piece again. All right, so after one one year, that's the return. That's the actual return. Now, for the rest of these formulas, we can just highlight, and in the active cell, we say, hey, whatever the return from the year before was, and then I'm going to paste Control V. Whoops, <laughs> should have put that one first. If only I could type. <laughs> All right, and so then we can Control Enter, and that will calculate our return. Oh, that's totally wrong. What did we do here? Now first, we want to calculate for our, since we're going to calculate arithmetic mean and geo mean, we need to add 1 to each one of these percentages right here. So 1 plus our percentage right there. Oh, look at that. I forgot my equal sign. Plus that one right there. That's a relative cell reference. Control Enter, and I can double click and send it down. All right, so that is the uh, averaging value we'll use for geo mean. Now let's calculate our, our arithmetic mean equals average. And we'll simply average these. This better be bigger than when we do use our geo mean, our geo mean function. Now, as we saw in the last video, this will give us 1 plus the uh, average compound rate per year. So we have to subtract 1. Ah, it is smaller. This one is smaller than that one. Now, let's go ahead and do a little experiment. Remember, because we want to prove that the if we use the arithmetic mean, that we'll get an 
a larger ending value than if we use the uh, a geo mean. And actually, when we use the geo mean method, we better get the exact correct value of the actual value. Now, let's calculate stock value first. Here's our value at 2001, and during that second year, the, the annual rate compounded one time during the year is 10% or 0.1, so I'm simply going to say equals in parentheses 1 plus uh, our 1% right there, or a 10% right there, close parentheses, times, and then this was our beginning value. Now I'm going to copy this right here, and then hit uh, Enter. So there it is. After one year, we go from 25 points and 75 cents to 28.325. Now our next little formula here, I'm going to put it into edit mode with the F2 key and then Control V. So th that won't work. I want to actually double click this and click right there. This little uh, piece is always going to be looking at the year before, so now we can click right there. They're both relative cell reference. This uh, one plus will always look at the return for this particular year. And this one will always look at the previous year's uh, ending value. Control Enter and then double click and send it down. So our target value when we do our mean experiment, we better get a value bigger than this. And when we do our geo mean, our value ending value better be exactly equal to that. All right, um, equals in parentheses 1 plus, and now we're going to use this one. And I'm going to lock it, even though this first formula is not going to be copied down. Close parentheses times, right? Here was our starting value. At the end of 2001, this is calculating the ending value for 2002. So that formula will work right there. I'm actually going to copy this and then enter. I'm going to paste this uh, formula here. And now the formula, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. I had a little space there. The formula here for the rest of these values, I'm going to hit Escape, Delete, highlight all these cells, and then the active cell. I'm going to hit F2. Control V, there we go. And now the rate is locked because we're doing our experiment for arithmetic mean, but now we still need to look at the previous year's um, uh, ending balance. So now I can hold Control and tap Enter. And just as we predicted, sure enough, it comes out uh, at the end bigger than this, uh, the actual value. Now let's do our geo mean equals open parentheses, 1 plus, and there is our geo mean. I'm going to hit the F4, close parentheses times. I'll use this one again. And now we got to get our starting value and then enter. Highlight all these cells. Notice sometimes I highlight them all and control enter, or sometimes I put it in the cell and then double click and send it down. You can do it whichever way you want. I'm going to hit uh, F2, control V, and get whatever it was from the year before. Again, this is our average that we're using to uh, calculate uh, without the actual stock return values. Control Enter, and boom, there it is. We get the exact same value using geometric mean. So more conservative, more accurate, um, uh, better over the long term. This one is going to be always a little bit bigger, more optimistic and uh, maybe a little bit better over the short term. All right, we'll see you next video.